That's calling moments happen at any time. Mine took place 12 years ago in a mall. I met a boy called John. John brought a newspaper to me. John is hearing impaired. He wanted to know the contents of the newspaper. To me, I wondered why a 12-year-old boy couldn't understand, didn't know how to read. I didn't manage to communicate with him because John uses sign language. To me, John became the stranger across the broken bridge. I visited John's school out of curiosity just to try to find out why, what was happening with edu his education. Later discovering that John goes to a, to a deaf school. It happens that they were recipient of hearing aids through non-government organization, but they only use those hearing aids for a month because the batteries are not available and the batteries are expensive. You can't find hearing aid batteries in rural Africa. People would rather buy bread than hearing aid batteries. So we recruited hearing impaired people and they managed to design what we call a solar-powered hearing aid. This is a solar-powered hearing aid. It charges three batteries at once. You put it outside the sun, and it absorbs the sun, and it charges your hearing aid batteries. Your hearing aid battery lasts for one week. They formed a company called Deftronics. At Deftronics, they, are, they manufacture high-quality solar-powered hearing aids made by deaf people for people with a hearing loss. When we started, we hired three deaf people to manufacture hearing aids. The market was so huge. On monthly basis, we would produce 600 hearing aids. But due to high demand, we ended up producing 3,000 hearing aids a month. And we hired 15 more hearing impaired people. We have managed to distribute to 40 African countries, and we have sold 10,000 units. And we have managed to send 3,000 children with solar-powered hearing aids to school. Through this, we are invited to Brazil by a company called Solar Ear. We had a collaboration. Our deaf people from Botswana, they would go and train deaf people in Brazil on how to do the assembly of the solar-powered hearing aids. Later, we invited also to Jordan to go and train deaf people on how to do the assembly of the solar-powered hearing aids. The language which was spoken to them was not their language. There was no one who was doing sign language on HIV AIDS awareness. So we took it upon ourselves to, to come up with the HIV sign language book, which has got all the signs on prevention and awareness. We managed to reduce HIV transmission in deaf community from 38% to 9%. Later, we also found out that our deaf workers had problems. They had money, but they couldn't open bank accounts because the bank tellers did not the sign language. So we took it upon ourselves with partnership with First National Bank of Botswana so that our deaf people could go and teach, train bank tellers on sign language so that all other deaf people can open the, their bank accounts. Our horizontal approach to lowering hearing impairment in Africa is through a program called DRED. It's detection, research, and advocacy, education, equipment, and therapy. Hearing impairment is a hidden disability. To children, it inhibits them to acquire the language. It makes them lose self-esteem. To adults, they can't get employed. To the elders, they live in social isolation. My fellow visionaries, at this moment, I invite you to come and dance with John so that we don't all be considered insane. Thank you.